Hello my friends and welcome back again. In this video we visit the tiny city of Wells in Somerset. It is sometimes thought to be the smallest city in England, which is not true. The city of London is actually smaller both in area and in population, but of course it's surrounded by the great Greater London conurbation, whereas Wells is surrounded by the beautiful English countryside. St David's in Wales is actually the smallest cathedral city in the UK, but that only acquired its city status in the 1990s, whereas Wells has been a city since the 12th century. This video was taken over three separate days, offering the differing aspects of this fascinating town. The architecture varies from the 12th century to the 21st, and the character of the ancient marketplace varies from quiet tranquillity on a Thursday to the crowded bustle of the Saturday market. Wells was granted its charter to hold a market again back in medieval times. There is water everywhere, from the moat surrounding the bishop's palace to the Victorian fountain at the top of the high street which feeds crystal clear water down the gutters on either side of the street, making it probably the cleanest high street in the country. There is a real treat waiting for you at the end of this video when we explore the oldest inhabited street in Europe. With all that said, let's get on the road. Driving towards the southern edge of the Mendip Hills in Somerset, we approach the small city of Wells. At first glance, there is little to differentiate Wells from any other southwestern market town, with its traffic, its housing estates, and a number of churches, including St Cuthbert's, which some tourists mistake for the cathedral. Things begin to change as you find your way towards the town centre and the marketplace, where you begin to move past medieval stone arches, Tudor shop fronts alongside Georgian houses. The first well after which the city was named feeds the Victorian fountain in the marketplace, which in turn feeds into the gutters on either side of the high street. We will meet the two other wells later in this video. Leading down from the historic marketplace, the High Street offers all the usual facilities of a thriving town, but with very clean gutters. But let us get back to that busy marketplace, with its cobbles and its inevitable pigeons. The market square hosts busy markets on Wednesdays and Saturdays, but today it's quiet. At the top of the square, there are two medieval archways known as Penniless Porch and the Bishop's Eye, which lead to either the cathedral or the Bishop's Palace, which dates back to the 12th century. A 
I would suggest you stick around to the end of this video to see the Vicar's Close, which claims to be the oldest purely residential street in Europe, with original buildings surviving intact despite some Victorian renovation. We have just come through the Bishop's Eye to the gardens of the 13th century Bishop's Palace, which includes two St Andrew's Springs or wells from which the city takes its name and supply water at a rate of 40 imperial gallons a second into this moat which holds 4 million imperial gallons. A large domestic swimming pool would only contain about 10,000 gallons. This gateway to the palace itself lost its drawbridge and portcullis about a century ago. The palace itself is part residence, part offices and part relic and will be the subject of a future video. Returning through the bishop's eye, we return to the quiet marketplace, which is very different from Saturdays. When we enter through Penniless Porch from the Cathedral Close, where we meet the market square on a Saturday. For the next part of this video, I will let the market speak for itself. If you are enjoying this video, please consider hitting one of the subscribe buttons either in the bottom right hand corner of the video or below the video itself. Thank you. So what's your name? Mike. Mike Jackson. Bye. You're talented, Mike. Thank you very much. Obviously, I couldn't leave out my old friend, the fountain. No, 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 no. 
Thank you. All the best, my lovely. There is. <laughs> yeah. But it is time we left these jewels for another one. Opposite the chapter house of the cathedral, we find the chain gate. And from the chain gate, we moved into Vicar's Row. Vickers Row is claimed to be the oldest purely residential street with original buildings surviving intact in Europe. It comprises numerous Grade 1 listed buildings comprising 27 residences. with a chapter and library at the north end. And the hall at the southern end over an arched gate as mentioned before, it is connected at its southern end to the cathedral by a walkway over the chain gate. These houses were built for priests serving the cathedral as what was known as Vicar's Choral in the 12th century their duty being to chant divine service eight times a day. Previously, they'd lived throughout the town, but the bishop of the town incorporated them and provided subsistence for the future. background is the sound of an activist group protesting against global climate change. All human life is here. Finally, we move through the chain gate to the cathedral and it's close. 
which will be the subject of another video in a few weeks' time. Thank you.